Kaura, Legionnaires, Rykon here, and welcome back to Lord of the Rims. We are here in Lost Lorien, where we have 11 new individuals staying with us for a short duration. They are going to be trouble. We need to keep this lot happy, we need to keep them safe, and we know that there are some folks out there that really want to see them dead. So we're going to do our best to do that. Now, unfortunately, to start today's episode off, there are a few peculiar things that have happened here. First being, our prisoners have disappeared. Yep, completely gone. Not in the game anymore. That, in addition to our recent recruit, Maxi, she's also gone. Now, this is an issue that uh, has been brought up to me before, and I'm not sure if it's caused by Lord of the Rims or Rimworld of Magic, but many of you have reported pawns just going missing. And unfortunately, I think that's what's happened here. And maybe we haven't experienced it yet because we haven't had as many individuals. But now with all these folks staying here, we're seeing some of those problems arise. And so while it is incredibly unfortunate, I'd like to think that Maxi just helped the others escape. And now they are far beyond the walls of Lost Lorien. And so we start here today with Blue Quail and Dan. Dan being our last undead roaming around here. And because we have so many people here now, unfortunately, Dan is going to have to go. He is making people rather upset. And so, Blue Quail, let's do that. I'm sorry, buddy, but it's got to happen. And there we go. Just like that, it is done. And uh, yeah, go ahead and pick that up. But uh, we want to try and get Dan dealt with as soon as possible, so let's maybe prioritize hauling him. He can come back for that later. Yeah. And as for your blink, yep, let's let you blink, my friend. Okay, we need to keep our guests happy as much as we can. And after looking through, I've determined that there are two that are actually in a relationship. Sapling and Eric. So we want to make sure that we have them sleeping together. Lena. Could we get you maybe helping us out over here? See if we can get this done. I think Triss was going to help with that as well. Well, whoever does it, I'll appreciate it once it is done because we want to try and keep their moods up as much as we possibly can. We're also going to try and keep them just within our walls. There is one other unfortunate thing. We do have a medical emergency and that baldy isn't looking that great. He's been receiving treatment for blood rot, but at the moment it's extreme. It's at 96% and there really isn't much we can do about it at this stage. It can be tended again in nine hours, but more than likely he's going to die because of blood rot. The only way we can cure it is with glitter world medicine. Unless, of course, we could try and turn back time on him. Natalia, can I get you to rush over here really quick? Because the thing is, if Baldy dies, then we fail our quest, and the quest is effectively to try and keep these seals alive, protect them from those that want to do them harm. Um, yes, very important to the dwarves, it would seem. And so let's let's see if we can get this done. I, I just want Baldy to stay still for like a second here. Reverse time on Baldy. Please stay still. There we go. All right, Baldy is now being reversed. Whether or not that will help, I'm not sure. Oh my god, it's actually, it dropped, it's dropping the blood rot down. <laughs> Natalia, you're bloody brilliant. That's wonderful news. I am very, very happy to see that. Okay, well, that's a bit of good news. We might be able to survive this yet. Okay, let's keep at it. Now, these are... Uh, things that have been getting worked on down here, these arcane capacitors, they're nearly finished, but I'm actually going to tell them to stop making them, because um, you all made some very good points. Uh, aesthetically, I really liked having them in here, but yeah, if we want to refuel our mana, coming outside of our walls probably isn't the best way for us to do it. So yeah, let's look at trying to place those somewhere else, somewhere that's going to be a little bit better for us. So we're going to go to Misk, yes. Arcane Capacitors. Now, I'm thinking just on the corner here. Does it need to be roofed? I don't think so. We'll give that a go. Actually, granite blocks might not be the way to go with that. 
Mm, what's going to be a better option? Probably marble. I think we've still got a whole heap of it kicking about. So we'll, we'll go there and we'll also go and put this one down over this side somewhere. Yeah, I, I kind of want it to be easily accessible on either side of our, um, yeah, our wall setup. At least that's the plan. Let's run with that for now. And we're also going to want to designate some more wood outside of our walls to be chopped down. Uh, because one, wood is nice to have, but two, we kind of want to make sure that we are keeping the number of things that our enemies can hide behind to a minimum, where possible. We aren't going to touch these ones down here because there are ones and we're going to harvest them later, but yeah, just trying to whittle down things like that. I wouldn't mind getting rid of some of these blocks as well because generally it's just going to make it a lot easier for us to kind of uh, shoot at them <laughs> and not have places for them to hide. Uh, we will have to try and remove some roofs and hopefully we can avoid, um, you know, any collapses. It's the last thing that we want right now. All right, well, it's a little bit later in the day and this bed still hasn't been made, so I'm going to ask Gror very nicely if he can do that for us. Actually, probably not the best idea for Gror to do that. Yeah, you go relax, Gror. We're going to grab someone else, someone that should be close by. Tranka, let's see, can I get you to help us out with that? Thank you. Much appreciated. You're going to haul 666 pieces of wood? Good luck. It is nice to see everyone here just kind of hanging out, whacking on these training dummies. And I think we might actually even need more. Hey, blue quail, more magic for you. Um, it's just nice because this area is just really beautiful. So in general, it's going to be a good place for them. Now, we do have an Arctic Fox out here who's going to be causing us a little bit of trouble. I'm surprised. I thought there were quite a few wild animals on the map, and there is. It's just decided that one of ours is going to be better to go for. Do we have anyone close by at the moment? Not really. Hmm. Well, I, I guess this might have to be a Gaffer light skip. Let's have a look at that. Get your light skip on over here. Thank you, my dude. <laughs> <laughs> just like that um okay you do you even have a bow here buddy you do have a bow oh yeah but you're terrible at shooting well they're not you're not terrible but i guess you could be better uh let's see if we can light lance towards this thing well that's just a straight up miss gaffer that's not very good it's not very good at all well <laughs> i can't get through that Dude, why are you so bad? Oh, you're trigger happy. Shoots faster than others, but with less accuracy. I mean, I didn't think it would drop the accuracy by that much, but my god, that's that's quite something. Um, I don't really want to use any of the really big what I mean sunflower I'm um, sure. Sure. Let's let's use the mana. Why not? Oh come on, really? I mean, can I run it back through it? Nope, unlikely. <laughs> Good luck to you, buddy. Good luck to you. Um, how about you just run back for now? H how damaged is it? It's not very damaged at all. Okay. All right. Can we get a lost deal to the rescue, please? Gaffer, just keep running for now. Lost deal will be here before you know it. And dragon kick, please. Thank you, lost deal. Finish this sucker off. And Gaffer, we're just going to get you running back inside, buddy. Just run, run, run. You've taken a few scratches there. Nothing too bad. Um, yeah, don't worry about the bow. And thank you, Lost Eel. You can go back and rest. Uh, Gaffer, we probably want you to get some treatment here, buddy. Either from Bonfin with his heel. And we'll see how we go. Let's just get you back for now. Another good person to learn heal would be Vladlina, just because she has the kind of cantrip mastery and she can get quite good with that. Oh, buddy, you're, you're quite slow with your injuries at the moment, huh? Okay, Natalia, I hate to wake you up, but we, we're going to need you to reverse time for us again, thank you. And looking at this here, I think I'd like to add heal back into this again. Sometimes the easiest thing to do is just to search for it. There we go. Let's see if we can get that made. Thank you. More than likely, go Karma. Alright, Gaffer's not feeling too hot. Let's go ahead and start reversing time. And that, that hurt a lot. <laughs> That hurt a lot. Death in 14 hours. That should definitely not be that bad. So let's see. What do you got going on at the moment? Oh no, he's fine. He's fine. <laughs> he's alright. Ah dear. Just a bit tired. Bit worn out. Okay. 
could be worse. I think all of our fireplaces were going to toggle off at this stage because it's warm enough outside that uh, we're not going to need that heat during the night. And Tranka sleeping alone down here. She's making do. She's making do. And you know what? I feel like we're going to have to give one of these rooms up to her. And it could actually be Maxie's. <laughs> the one that Vlad Leonard just teleported into. Because Maxie is nowhere to be seen. Yeah, so uh, there you go, Tranker. It's all yours now. Oh, and the bed did get completed, but for some reason it went to Mac. Okay, we, do, we don't want that, so let's go ahead and change this. Uh, now, who was it? It was Sapling and it was Eric. There you go, reassigned. So Mac, go find yourself a bed. That one will do you just fine. Ooh, we've got some silver down here. Okay, well, there's only a few people that could actually mine down here, but we'll ask for that to be mined. And we'll just go through and mine everything else. We are looking for more magicite and, uh, well, chipping away and getting some iron in the process is the best way for us to do that at the moment. I'm happy to report that the temperature in here has dropped down to an acceptable 13 degrees rather than like 70 to 90. Much better. Unfortunately, Eric is wearing some tattered apparel right now. I don't think he's going to change out. It's one of the unfortunate things about having them here is that um, we can't control what they wear. Hmm. Checking in on Baldy here, who just got some treatment. That blood rot is down to 2.5%, so it's nice to know that reverse time works in that way. If we ever have an infection or something like that, we can reverse time to get more time. Very good for us. I think we're going to expand this area out a little bit with a few more training dummies. We don't actually have much in the way of hay grass at the moment, so we might want to get a little bit more of that. You might see some notifications popping up because um, we do have some folks here that are skilled, but uh, I'm not going to mess around with their skills because they're not ours. It doesn't feel right. Yeah, so we've got this nice big field up here. I'm thinking we might want to try and grow some extra hay grass up here just in this space. I've been thinking more about it. We, we could probably use a little bit of an extra hand. So I'm going to take these folks off of Siege. And we're going to put them just back into the regular colonial zone. Well, Triss is pretty lucky. She just developed two lots of combat skill uh, because of Lost Deal. Uh, and Lena as well. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, we can, we can get another point in Blade Mastery. We need two more to be able to get another point. But yeah, good to see folks learning. God damn, Lena's gotten stronger again. This is this is happening quite quickly. Um, yeah, I guess she is lower level, so she can get that experience quite fast, but that's cool to see. We are quite low medicine at the moment, only down to 14, but we are going to have a heal root harvest before too long. We're happy to see that happen. Looks like Tranka is busy at uh, making some art sculptures for us once again. We're actually going to have to increase the number of that a fair bit more. Oh, and you're mentoring Gokama. Hey, we'll go ahead and pop that up to seven. And let's have a look at the sculpture and see what we got. Oh, peace. It betrays a pine tree. Wonderful. Okay, well, where are we up to in terms of our sculptures? I'm just going to go for these two rooms next, and then we'll start putting them in all of these rooms. So... Yeah, we're actually going to need quite a few. Oh, oh, that's the same one. I was like, wait, what? That was fast. Now we'll go up to 10 of those small sculptures. Thank you. Okay, I think I'm going to build some meditation spots uh, around here for our new folks. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so I'm going to have to go ahead and divvy them out to everyone here. Oh, Lena doesn't have one. Okay, well, Lena, let's have a look and see what you actually need for your... Okay, you're artistic. Okay, so with that, we would want to have a look at something like this. But we've got so many that um, I think we'll actually go ahead and put it here instead. Because then you're still looking at art. Okay, so Lena, congratulations, that is yours. And as for the others down here, easiest way for me to do it is just go through, see the ones that aren't assigned, and just uh, assign them. And too bad if this isn't their thing. And hey, we can make carpet now. It seems like a small luxury, but I think it's going to improve the look of things around here quite a bit. We could go for advanced enchanting, make our way all the way down to expert, you know what? I feel like that's the direction that we're going to go. We, we're going to try and use this 
limitedly because we only have so much magicite and resources to make them, but I think if we apply them properly, these things can give these really nice little bonuses to each of our pawns. At least that's the idea going forward. Okay, there we go. They've all got assigned meditation spots, and I'll actually assign some meditation for them in the morning. So we'll kind of just go along like that. I've got a lot of recreation time for them as well, just because I do want them to properly relax. We need to keep them happy after all. And it looks like we've finally got everything we need to get the capacitor built over this side, so that's coming together over this side. Still a little bit more needed. Okay, so looking at carpet, I would like to do a nice red carpet throughout here. We're just going to do this nice long strip to start with. Once that's done, we'll try and do down along the sides. And then eventually I want to try and do each of the rooms, probably in some kind of alternating pattern. Uh, well, we have a group of visitors from the Lagua Coalition. Okay, well, ideally we wouldn't have visitors right now, as we don't have a lot of space for them, but um, I suppose we'll try and make some space then, huh? It's just going to have to be basic stuff. Our folks from the Shire weren't too happy staying here, so yeah, I imagine this group, they're going to have a, a similar experience. Well, these are now guest beds. Enjoy your stay, if you can. Oh boy! We have ourselves an infestation down here. Okay. Well, it would have been better if it was in here because we could just incinerate them. Um, you know what? That could still work, though. I think we could still do the similar kind of technique down here. We just need to wall the area off, which I think we might be able to do along here because of our bridge. We could try it. Hmm, how are we looking on blocks at the moment? Okay, we've got a hundred marble, so we could have a look at doing that. Let's go to our wall, and we want a basic marble wall. Yeah, we can't build across that. We can build across this. That could work. And then if we just did a door up here, that would do it. It need to be a strong enough door. Oh my god, look at those numbers. Yeah, we want to try and ignite this if we can. Ah, uh, because <laughs> that's a lot of trouble. Uh, this definitely needs to be a priority. Uh, Natalia, I like that you're doing that, but could you deliver some resources? We need this to happen. Yeah, we'll go for a marble door just down here, please. Natalia, thank you for getting all those resources here. It's wonderful. Could you do here as well? Lovely. There we go. Okay, we just need someone to pop on over and construct it. Alter, could we steal you to uh, assist with that? That will help us out greatly. Because, um, yeah, we've got some big numbers here, and they can chip through this stuff pretty damn quickly. We just want to pop our head in, ignite, and then walk out. Ladlina, you could get some, some pretty serious kills here. Let's get this raised. Okay, Vladlina, I really don't want you to go down there, so please don't. Oh my god, Morg? Or oh, no, it's Vladlina. Okay, just just stop. Please stop. We do not want to start a fight. <laughs> not right now. Just be patient. Because <laughs> you're the one that's going to do this thing for us. Okay. Yep, they haven't broken through yet. That's good. As soon as that door is sealed by Alter. Okay, now that is indoors. Okay, so Vladlina, let's get you to pop your head through. We'll get you to ignite all the way down. And it's pretty much going to set the atmosphere on fire in here. Vladlina is probably going to get some light burns from this, but that's how we go. Okay, um, let's see. You need to be able to see it. Can You, you can see there, right? All right, it's going to have to be closer. There we go. As soon as it goes... Okay, Vladlina, you get out of there. Oh, it sizzled because it's on water. Well, that makes sense. Okay, so it can't, it can't be on water. Well, this is going to make it a bit harder, then, isn't it? Because how are we going to designate a target down there? You know what? We might be able to angle and hit that. It does mean that Vladlina is going to be in here for longer. Let's just get you to hang back for now. Stop shooting at them, please. <laughs> and let's recharge Ignite. Okay, Asylum is in a pretty bad way as well, so we're going to need to make sure that we get uh, Natalia to reverse time on him. All right, let's try this out. Once again, I am, I am worried here. I am worried. <laughs> we might just have to fight them front on. Natalia, please stop shooting. I'm going to take you off running gun. 
Okay, that Mega Scarab could be a bit of a problem for us. We can blink out of here though, so that's probably what we're going to end up doing. Okay, I need you casting right there. Okay, and instantly... Well, the temperature hasn't gone up yet, and it might be because the water is actually dropping the temperature just down in general in here. And I think that's what's happening. Yeah, we can't get that temperature to rise on up. So, with that being the case, I think we're just going to have to try and do this the old-fashioned way. There's, uh, there's, there's so many of them in there. Okay, alright, so we're going to get all of our melee fighters up and ready. It looks like they are angry. Okay, that's to be expected. We want Lost Deal to be holding the door. Madeline, we want you to, to just be behind here. Grawl, we got you backing up. Lena, I want you here as well. Uh, Tranker, let's get you down here because uh, we could probably do with a bit of a polymorph. And Bomfin, if we could chuck down a cloud in there, that'll help too. But ideally, we'll just have them flowing through into here to attack us. And uh, yeah, that will allow us to deal with them. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Uh, so, Gokami, you're going down there for a stone chunk, huh? Yeah, I feel like that's probably a bad idea. We're gonna, we're gonna forbid that chunk. Well, if I can, I can't right now. That's 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 okay, I guess. Oh, uh, Gokami, you could actually start things off for us. You're not a bad shot. Yeah, let's get you to fire off a few shots here. Just antagonize these things. Any moment now. Sapling's got a deeper understanding of magic. Okay, all right. Not really the one for the job, huh? That's fine. Bomfin, let's send you in. Oh! Ah, through the open door, Tranker. Very nice, I see, I see. Yep. I think I think we got their attention here. Come on, don't give up. You're gonna give up, aren't you? Yeah, I mean, Tranker, keep on shooting. Lost Deal, go stand in that doorway. What we want to do, ideally, is kind of a little bit of this. Lena, you pop in down there as well. We've got Manlin to back up. Um, I'm going to hold the door open. We're going to get Lost Deal to just walk in, just so that it opens, and Lost Deal is going to start fighting. And we're just going to hold the door like this. Uh, Tranker, probably not best to have you shooting from here. I'm going to put you off of fire at will. Same thing with Vladlina. We want them here as casters. Um, Gokama, you can just go chill. And let's see. Turn fire at will off here as well. Oh, are you going to go straight down there, huh? Yeah, I don't like that. Can you, can you not, maybe? You just head back here for now, Gokama. Oh, lost yow. Garod, doing a great job. Inspired taming for Tranker. Yeah, you really want that, huh? I'm gonna, I'm gonna forbid this thing. <laughs> of all the things you could go for. Yeah, hmm, that's frustrating. I can't freaking forbid it. I can't forbid it. Well, no, I'm not gonna let you do that. I'm not gonna let you just kill yourself. Yeah, you can fire from back there. I'm sure that'll be fine. Just, just hang out. We'll hold the line here. Of course. Of course, these are the ones that are here for the seals. Okay, there aren't that many of them, so that's good. Are they just gonna, they're just gonna start heading straight on in. Okay, well, I tell you what, we're gonna keep the melee crew down here. We're gonna get everyone else to head up towards the walls. Um, so, <laughs> let's start getting folks moving. We are gonna have to kind of try and split our numbers here. So Vladlena will get you heading up this side. Alter, you'll be going up there as well. Tranker. Yeah, Tranka will actually get you to head to this one. Uh, we do need to put everyone on siege at the moment because we are in a siege. So that should help out a little bit. Gefer, we're going to go ahead and place you up there. All right, I'm going to get some more placements done. All right, that should be everyone on the move at the moment. They're all going to go and get into their positions. And we're just going to hold down here for now. Um, and honestly, these three should be able to do it. We've got Manlin to sub in if it becomes too much, but... Oh! There we go, like like that. Manlin, could you please go ahead and attack this mega... Thank you. Yeah, revenge my ass. That was one that just got up off the ground. Um, so Garor is actually healing people nearby with his um, techniques. Good stuff, dude, good stuff. All right, we're actually gonna go ahead and chuck a Grave Blades down just in the area here. If we can, see if that helps. It does, helps a lot. 
Okay, so we've got a fire started up here by the dwarves. Okay, uh, many is heading back inside. Okay, yeah, so wildlife, I did actually forget to put them all on siege, so we need to make sure that we do that. Many, please don't get us killed here. Let's get those gates closed. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, that was so close. Stupidly close. Alright, so that's a bit of a problem. Alright, Natalia, get back there. Bomfin, we're gonna go ahead and um, get a bit of a casting off. I think you can actually just see from the position that you're in at the moment, so let's have a look at doing a lightning storm just right out the front here. Okay, no, they're, they're on the move, huh? Well, I reckon they're gonna come back. So we'll go ahead and start it. We'll get you heading up there. Natalia, we'll get you up there as well. Okay. Animal needs rescue. Mafias down there. Yep, that's unfortunate. Mafano, don't get us into trouble, please. Samal's gonna go down. God damn it. Right, we need to revive that cat. And uh, the lightning was a bit of overkill, as you can see. Uh, we got some kills over here. That's good. Strolly. Okay, looks like they're all trying to make their way around the side at this point. All the way down here. Gorexius, who the hell? I'm guessing you're with... Nope, I have no idea who you're with. Oh, you're from the Ligur Coalition. Well, I feel like being down there is probably not the best plan. You might not want to do that. Uh, we're just going to get everyone else to head on over here for now. Yep, Goldie's been cut to death as well. We've got some resurrections to do here. Bastards. Absolute bastards. So we've got a lot of fire out here. Uh, I just realized we did actually have fire off at will off on Bothan, on Bothan. So uh, let's go ahead and change that. Uh, Blue Quail, you should be shooting. Let's take down Strolly when we can. How are we doing down here, folks? Okay, Lena's been hurt a little bit, but all in all, we are still holding up nicely. Uh, we could try this wave of fear. Slows attacks. Yeah. Thanks, buddy. And it actually did get quite a few of them to run off. Like that. Okay. It's all happening at once. Strick, thank you for helping out there. Okay, good. Take those two down. The rest of them, I think they're just, yeah, they're trying to mess this place up. Okay. We're not going to let them do that. We'll just take down these two up here. And once they're down, we'll have a look at dealing with the others. Ah, they're fleeing. Now, I'm not sure what group is fleeing. And this group down here don't seem to be fleeing. They've been kind of attacking each other at the moment. Oh, they they actually full-on destroyed that Stele. Bastards. Absolute bastards. Okay, well, we're going to send the crew down. We're going to have to actually go out to deal with the others. So let's start to head down there. How is this trouble going? It's it's still going. Manlin, I need you over here, please. Okay, everyone's heading down. Natalia, how are you looking? You're fine. We've got a evil Garor heading outside at the moment as we speak. Okay, let's hold our ground. Start firing at Garor here. Same thing here. Line up, folks. Line up. Garor must go down. Okay, Manlin, let's go ahead and take him down, thank you. Nice work. Alter, stand off towards the side. Manlin, you're going to be a defender in case anyone gets too close. Bit of trouble for Alter here. Okay, alright, at this stage, Bomfin, let's go ahead and chuck a lightning cloud down on this area. This should be a relatively fast cast. There we go. Back on up. There we go. Manlin, you got this. Everyone else, I want you heading around the side here to shoot. Okay, Bomfin, please just take this fool out. Sorry, Alter. Bit of a strike there. The rest of them are in a spot of trouble. All running. We'll get to you. Spread out, spread out. 
Manlin, sorry. I'm not sure where Gathur is at the moment. With the others, we probably could have brought them down as well. Let's get them moving now. There we go. That's that, I believe. All right, Manlin needs to be rescued. Everyone else needs to just chill, do their thing. Okay, heading back down here. Yep, everyone's holding very nicely. Kind of an unending battle at the moment, but they're slowly but surely getting through it. Morgs on an insulting spree. I don't blame you, dude. Manlin. Okay. We need you back up. Alter, you're good to move about. I don't think we're going to try and capture anyone at the moment. Natalia, could I get you to just reverse time on Manlin here? And hopefully that is going to be on Manlin and not on Daisy. Okay. We'll find out soon enough. It was on Manlin. Okay. Manlin, you're on the move. I don't know where to. Morg, insulting spree. Okay, go Karma. Can I get you to head on over here? We need to put Morg down. Nothing like a nice lullaby to sort things out. And here we go. Please work. There we go. He'll be fine. He'll wake up. He'll be feeling better for it afterwards. Okay, Alter. Sorry, I didn't realize we had you just waiting. Let's make sure that you get treatment. Matthias has died. Yeah, unfortunately, some of our animals will be on death's door currently. I'd really like to save our um, friend who's staying with us here. So we'll need to make sure that people actually do get treatment. And heading down to this mess of a fight. Still going strong. Still going strong. Some of them are actually making their way through at the moment. We should be clearing them up after they're down, though. I think the easiest thing for us to do is just mark them for hunting. Like that. So that they actually get properly taken out. Yeah, Lost Deal's a little injured. Those wounds will seal back up. And the ones that have just kind of made their way through, they're already quite injured, so it won't take much to take them down. Let's focus on the others for now. Alright, so Natalia, I'd love for you to head back out here. Reverse time. I would love for Natalia to be able to reverse time, but uh, her mana is not all there at the moment. And we don't actually have mana in these yet. Only a tiny bit. Yeah, so that ain't going to be happening, unfortunately. Okay, another thing to contend with is Asylum. His blood rot is at 95%, so we do need to deal with that as soon as we can. So, ideally, we would get some more mana for Natalia here. Our pets that perished outside, unfortunately, will remain that way. Bloody dwarves. And they were here for the seals, so we need to make sure that we actually have the sacrifice mean something. Alright, this lot, they've done an amazing job. I'm going to go ahead and put them on search and destroy. Which, uh, yeah, they're going to finish off all the hives. It's been a hell of a day for them, but uh, they're nearly done. Alter, get to a bloody bear day. Alright, I'm going to keep a close eye on Asylum here. We are going to be without mana for a little bit here. It is on its way back up. We're at 43 at the moment. I believe we need 47.5. Yeah. So, let's hope we can get there. Alright, they're doing a fantastic job just working their way through the hives, making sure that nothing else is going to spawn out of them because there's a lot of them. Okay, Lost Deal is in a daze. Ah, that's unfortunate. Ravenously hungry. Yeah. Okay. We can, we can help with that as well. We can get a lullaby to help bring Lost Deal back. Okay. You know what? Maybe it's okay. Just let you carry on for now. Let these two finish the job. Okay, we are nearly done here. And then you two can rest. A well-earned rest. Thank you so much for your service there. Okay, alright. Let's, uh... Let's go ahead and allow all of this insect jelly. There's a lot of it. 
And I think we're going to keep a kind of a structure here. There's just so many of them still alive, but unconscious and kind of bleeding out. They will die eventually. <laughs> Look at them all in here as well with Bonfin. Jeez, a lot of bugs. A lot of bugs. Okay, Natalia, let's get you up and moving on. We need to reverse time on Asylum here so we can get this uh, done. Okay, and reverse time. Bam. You can go do your thing. And there we go. It's already making its way down. Good. Graw and Lena are close to a major break. I'm not surprised there. They'll have some pretty serious needs. I hope they actually get the chance to deal with them all. Uh, we've got a bit of a fire up the north here. I'm just going to ask Vladlina to make it rain. Put that out for us. That's going to be much appreciated. All right, Eric's in a bit of a bad way at the moment. I'm just going to pull him out of there for now. Go ahead and drink some soda, my friend. Chill out. Um, he's been trying to help heal Daisy over here. How has that been going? You know what? Not too bad, all things considered. Yeah. Uh, Lena's having a bit of a tantrum. That's okay. She literally fought all day, all night. Uh, Gokama, you can help with that, though. So let's get you to try and cast a lullaby. And, um, yeah, make everything okay. There we go. And just like so. Done. Nice. Now, I think I can wake you back up from that. Yep. And you're okay afterwards. Excellent. Gokama, can we make any improvements on you? We can. Okay. Uh, I think I'll do those last two points in Playwright, but then we're going to start upping Lullaby. Because uh, that's very good. All right. Asylum's down to barely any blood rot at all, so that's good news for us. Everyone else is in recovery at the moment, and we've got so much work to do here now. We're going to need so many more sandstone blocks. Bastards really trashed the place. Hey, hey, we've got ourselves another art sculpture. This one is shaped like Bomfin. Added surface detail to a heavy plate armor with the gleam desire. Also, it's when he was making some plate armor. Okay, well, that's nice. We're going to go ahead and place this up and over here. Garor is in a daze now. Um, okay. Well, look, Lost Yell, unfortunately, is still in a gaze as well. Or daze, rather. Uh, Gokama, we can get you to do a lullaby again. I think that might actually help out Draw here. I think Lost Hill's been in it long enough that I think she'll probably come back first. So we'll see about that. Uh, poor Reno over here has been dying for a long time. We're not going to really do too much about that. And there we go. Let's put Draw to sleep. I think we should be able to get you back into action again. Lullaby just kind of resetting things there. We'll probably need to get that pipe weed withdrawal dealt with once again. Yeah. Go rest up and we'll see what we can do. Okay, Vlad Lina is actually making some pipe weed packs for us at the moment, so that's good. That'll make folks happy. Okay, wow, all these bodies are slowly but surely being dealt with. Um, we are going to build something of a wall here eventually. Um, I think just for safety's sake, but we'll keep this one up just for the time being. And Lena, in a daze. Okay, well, we'll leave them in that break state for now. If we can, we'll try and bring them back with Gokama. Yeah, Gokama's out of mana at the moment. That's just going to have to wait. Well, a little bit of lighter news. The carpet in here does look really nice. I'd like to go and place some more down along here. It's going to take us a little bit more before we can do that. We do have some more uh, cotton set to be grown. Bonthan, thank you for fueling up that tank. Okay, our guests left. They kind of enjoyed their stay. They left us a whole heap of ketchup, so I guess that's a bonus. Well, Draw's carcinoma is stable. It's good to see. That smoke weed is troubling. Well, Bonthan, with a deeper understanding of magic, is going to continue to power up that lightning storm for now. All right, we're going to take this wall down for now. All the troubles have been dealt with now. Another pipe weed harvest happening up here, which is good. We have a need of it at the moment. Everyone's rather upset about that last encounter. Well, just checking in on our quest. It's 1.9 days until the shuttle arrives for the seals. 
It's taken a long time to take care of them, but we're getting there. Hey, Sapling, did you complete this? No, it was good raw. Ah, and this uh, bears an artwork of a black bear being crippled by Gaffer out of bleak necessity. Thank you, Garor. A lovely piece. Well, good news is we've got a lot of food down here. We kind of had a piling up, and so they didn't look to see how many they'd made. And we've got 86 simple meals hanging out in here, so definitely enough to keep everyone fed. Looks like uh, Lobelia will be focusing on these nice fine meals for now, though. And you know what? I'm kind of tempted to bump those fine meals back up to lavish meals just because they do give like it's just better it's better in general um so i think that's what we're going to end up doing is just swapping it out for the fine meals so let's go do until we have and we're going to bump that all the way up to 40 and it's going to use quite a bit of food to do that but i feel like it's going to be worth that mood bonus you can see that the amount of uh insects we have in the freezer is a lot yeah, our animals are going to be pretty well fed when it comes to meat for a good long while. Hey, Alter, thank you. You finished off uh, this one here. Uh, unfortunately, they do look different. They were perfect before. Uh, what have we got on this one? It, uh, it's a depiction of Morg knocking unconscious a doe with an elephant bow in a cowardly half-hearted way. <laughs> okay, nice. We've got a whole heap of muffalo out here that I would like to hunt. A lot of wool, a lot of meat there. We have a lot of meat still, but uh, it's just, you know, up those stockpiles. Okay, a coyote is trying to hunt Eleanor. Well, good luck with that. It's already injured. Eleanor's going to be able to make it back inside. Yeah, easily in that time. We're going to go ahead and mark you for hunting, though. You do need to be taken out. You're a danger to us. Oh, it's deciding to go ahead and eat a corpse instead. Well, that's that's fine. Uh, someone will come and hunt that before too long. I've got Gaffer and Alter playing uh, Henfatal, Henfat, Affle, yeah, playing that game together. And Eleanor just playing cards by herself up here. Yeah, Manlin having a little bit of a chat. Uh, Manlin, unfortunately, has a bit of an addiction now. Yeah, a pipe weed addiction, which we're going to try and keep a lid on as much as possible. Ah, and Bowman's quite unhappy. What can we do? Darkness, Tortured Artist. Tortured Artist is always going to be there. Uh, I think he's going to be okay, though. As long as he jumps in bed, he's going to start getting comfort back, and he's going to be feeling a little bit happier. Yep, there we go. Just fine. She's finally got enough mana, and I know it's been too long, but I still want to try. We've got our cat Goldie down here. I want to see if there's anything that we can do. Let's see. Can I target her? Is that going to be possible? Let's see. I don't think so. Nope. It might be just the position that she's in. I'm not sure. But that was our casting, unfortunately. It's going to take a while before we could do that again. So... That might be our shot. Lena, with your extra bit of combat skill there, we're going to go ahead and master Blade Mastery. How are you looking now? Okay, melee is definitely going up. That's helping a lot. Your construction is brilliant. Your plant skill is also really nice as well. Yeah, legendary Blade Dancer. Ooh, the anima tree is ready for some more linking. Morg, let's actually get you to do that linking. All right, good luck to you. Well, I just got a notification about low medicine, but thankfully, we've got a lot of it coming in now. Good job, team. Oh, and I've just realized I kind of did the lavish meals wrong. I should have been doing cook lavish meals for, and, well, advanced enchanting. We're going to go straight into experts <laughs> just to keep that rolling, but, uh, yeah, we want to make sure that we're doing the kind of packs of lavish meals. Okay, Morg, well done. What did you get this time, my friend? Wall rise. Form a temporary wall by skipping rubble and soil up from deep under the ground. Nice. Okay, like instant cover. But just like a, a, an even better version of his um, chunk skip thing. I'm impressed that all of the bodies are gone. It's kind of wild. Yeah, they must have all got brought up into here. Yep, and they are slowly but surely getting um, chopped up into parts. Okay, I've got a Timbal having a bit of a time. Tranker, how are you doing? You're doing good. 
Might need to turn and run though. No, you're fine. Good job. We do have an unhappy guest here. Uh, Gokama's kind of helping, but I'm thinking I would like you to go ahead and lullaby them just in case. Oh, and we've got ourselves a quest as well. We will have a look at that in just a second. Now, Gokama, grab your, grab your meal. And um, yeah, you're kind of heading in the right direction at the moment. Bowman, the second that you've kind of dropped that off, I'm going to get you to just hang still for a moment or two. Because I think this will help you. Let's see. Let's go ahead and lullaby. Any moment. And bam. Okay. Did that help? Did that do anything for you? N not really. It just kind of put you to sleep. Oh, and we've got ourselves a siege. Well, that's just wonderful. How about you go, you go consume that meal, my friend? Um, I can't tell you to consume the lavish one because Alter is going to do that at the moment. Okay. Well, let's have a look at the ancient tomb first of all. Uh, they contain anything from, like, just good artifacts. Okay, right. Well, we've got a lot of things going on at the moment. That expires in 20 days, though, so I think that should be okay. We've got 13 hours until we give the seals up. But right now, we have an uncle of Natalia from Danan here. And this is... They're, they're the ones that are here for our other friends. And oh boy, they're here in force. Okay, are they the only ones here? It looks like that's the case. Okay, so we need to get into position, get all of our animals onto siege, all of our other folks onto siege, and, uh, well, get ready to fight. Okay, we've got everyone on the move now at this point. All of our other folks are just going to be kind of hanging out. It looks like they're making their way down slowly in a controlled fashion, which is kind of freaking ideal for us. Morg, you better get back in the walls before they get here. Okay, now they're just kind of hanging out. They might actually be setting up somewhere, which we kind of don't want them to do. Oh, did that just give Ladlin some... I think it was as she was walking past. Yeah, it kind of just replenishes them. Oh, we like that. Oh, this is very good. Okay, that's a good, that's a good placement for that. Um, yeah, we'll just need to make sure that we try to keep that charge. We might need the other one that just kind of does the passive charging as well. Uh, Bomfin. Right. How far can this go? It can go right here, right where they are. Okay, let's go ahead and just cast a lightning storm on them. Just to, um, antagonize them a little bit, you know. Uh, Morg, let's move you up there. There we go. The lightning storm is raging. Uh, they're assaulting the colony. Yep. That's a that's a good decision because those lightning bolts, my my god, they are they are something. Uh, Gefer, let's see, let's get you up to there. That's going to be a good spot for you. Now, I just want to make sure that people can fire at will here. That's good. Okay, all right. As soon as they start to get close enough, we're going to start doing stuff. Okay, Vladlina, Tranka, where are you at? You're right here at the moment. Okay, how close do they have to be to Polymorph? I would like to get them kind of grouped if we can. So Bomfin, let's go ahead and chuck down a lightning cloud just in front of them here. So that's going to start to slow them down once they make their way into that. Okay. That's good. That's doing work. Doing work. Gaffer. Right, buddy. You're not using your bow at the moment because it's, it's not a great... It's not a great thing. Um, we're going to go ahead and put Sunfire down just here because they seem to be running through this area. And that's going to put some lances out there. Oh, yep. Hester is now down as well. Squint is trying to make their way in. Another death. Okay. So far, Siege is going well. Got a few that are trying to get much closer now. Coogan trying to make her way around. She's in a position where she can shoot pretty good. Okay. Inspired surgery for Vlad Lena. We might need it, but we'll see how we go here. Okay. Gaffer, you can't do much else for us at the moment, buddy, so we're just going to get you hanging back. Garor, you're moving into position. That's good. Natalia, you just chill for now as well. Bomfin, yeah, you're kind of tapped out at the moment. That's fine. Vladlina, hang on. Oh, no, everyone's skills have kind of been put on hold by, by something, by some kind of a caster. Okay, this we still have a lot of enemies out here. But we should be able to just stay focused on them. Take them out like this. Dalton's going to take a few shots. Haruto. Okay. Yeah, because they're all one group as well, as long as we can, 
you know, get enough of them going will be good. Bowman, I am concerned about you, though. I don't want this to wreck. I don't know how you observed, observed that many rotten corpses. Yeah. That shouldn't happen, Bowman. That shouldn't happen. And unfortunately, he is a teetotaler as well, so we can't do anything about that. We just kind of need to hope that uh, he's going to be able to get a bit of recreation. Yeah, because if he gets too pissed off, then, then that's that. Okay, they are now fleeing. So what we're going to do at this point is that we're going to put all of our melee folks on search and destroy. And we can do the same with everyone else here. Um, we'll put them on search and destroy as well. Yeah. Boom. There we go. Blue quail, uh, I will just let you relax. Everyone else, they're going to make their way out. Gefer, you can relax as well. Alter, same deal. Eleanor, Natalia. Okay. Take down those to the left. Anyone that we want to try and bring in? I don't, I don't think so. Got a fair bit of death going on over there. Natalia, I'd actually like it. Oh no, sorry, Vladlena, rather. Um, can we get you to make some rain? No, we can't. No, it's too soon. Well, the rain will kick in before too long, I think. And everyone else will go ahead and just change up, um, yeah, colony for everyone. Except for Blue Quail and uh, Gafur. No, Garor, there you are. Uh, Blue Quail, your injury is not that bad. Okay. Well, if Bonfin could get a heal off on you, that'd be nice, but I think you've already gone too far away. Yeah, that's fine. Not a problem. Chase them down. If you get them, you get them. There we go. Ballad's going down. Lost Deal, try and get a uh, Dragon Strike off towards Daichi up here. Let's see if that works. Yep. Daichi's probably going to get away. Oh, no, you didn't. And what about you, Fainers? Oh, you were so close. So close, yet so far away, huh? All right. You lot, you can just go ahead and rest. Um, you can rest. Everyone can just chill. Morg, same deal here. You lot, go do your thing. Okay, I think we're all right, but uh, yeah, I just need to make sure that Bomfin, or no, Bowman here, just chills out. Ooh, Blue Quail, deeper understanding of magic. You got two points to go out at the stage. Where do we want those points to go? Deathmark, I'd love to learn it. Let's do it. Yeah. Is that something? Ah, okay, it is an activated thing. I was hoping it could be something that he would activate himself, but no, that's good. We will make sure that you actually try and learn that. And Bonfin, you're heading down here, which is kind of perfect because Blue Quail's playing with your doll. Let's just get a heal off, and Blue Quail is feeling fine now. Okay, Bowman's going to go ahead and rest, which that's good. We need you to do that, my friend. We want to try and improve your mood as much as possible. You know what? Just to be safe, Bowman. You're going to get this masterwork sculpture put in your room. Yep. We're doing that for you. I hope you are at least a little bit happy with that. Let's see. Go Karma. Take away our lovely masterwork. We'll go ahead and put that in Bowman's room. It's going to make everyone jealous of Bowman, but I think it will help. Yeah. You don't have many thoughts about your bedroom, so we'll see if this helps at all. It'll be disturbed sleep, but... Okay. Let's... Yeah. <laughs> your comfort's going up a, a lot. Spacious interior. Okay. Quite comfortable. Yeah, we just need to get your mood better, my friend. Alright, Vladlina, sorry to wake you up here, but we do need you to do your Rainmaker. That will help. And I think that might have turned into a thunderstorm, possibly. Yeah, well, if it did, that's too bad, huh? All right, very impressive bedroom. That is helping. Expires in 23 hours, so that's going to be a bonus throughout the entire day, which, that's nice. Um, you're probably going to lose that from being wet from it raining outside, but hey, <laughs> we do what we can. Jeez, that gave me a fright. Okay, we've had a shuttle arrive, and that is for our seals. Good. All right, let's get them loaded, please. So we'll just grab some folks. Get them out of here. You know what? Asylum can just, just, just get carried away. Thank you. Just like so. Silly, could you please go carry Gavin, Sapling, grab Lazarus? You are kidding me. 
I cannot believe that. After all of that, they're leaving. And all because of Bowman. Really? God damn it. This bastard. After all that effort. Well, so long to you. And thanks for causing so much trouble. Yep, security for friends. We needed to keep it above 30%. He was just too bad for too long. That's unfortunate, but hey, we have other options now, other things that we can do. And I still want to complete this quest here, at least, so that we have something <laughs> achieved. Let's have a look at the contents. Okay, we still need to load everyone else. I think they are being brought over at the moment. Manlin's bringing another over. Okay, Gavin, you need to get brought in. So um, after you're done with that feeding, Lost Deal, let's get Gavin moving. All right, Gavin, it's time for you to go. Let's get him moving. And let's go ahead and do some hunting. We killed these people for you. Ungrateful. Okay, let's have a look at those contents. Lazarus is still to be loaded. Go Karma if you wouldn't mind. Let's see. No. Yeah, there we go. Needs animal. Cannot mount. I'm not, I'm not trying to mount. Carry Lazarus to the shuttle, thank you. All right, Bomfin. Let's get moving. Okay, and yeah, and it's just Lazarus now, so let's get them loaded. Send them off before they die of blood rot or <laughs> some other terrible thing happens. I mean, we had people raid here trying to get these seals back. They must be important and sent. There we go. We completed a quest. And there are... Uh, well, that's our reward. A masterwork shield belt and some uranium, which is, I mean, that's good. So let's have a look very quickly at our gear here. Morg, we might want to get you decked out with that, because Garaw, you've got a nice um, shield belt. So does Lostiel. Actually, you know what? It's going to be Lena now. Lena, let's get you equipped with that. Major break risk. Morg, we'll deal with it, buddy. Oh, boy. We survived another raid, another infestation, and unfortunately, we failed to quest due to some sticklers. Well, here we are, Lost Lorian, still standing strong and wealthier than ever before. Uh, looking at this, we can see our current wealth, which is, you know, it's right up there, and it's been a pretty consistent rise across this entire time. Items, total building creatures okay yeah so it's it's our items that are giving us all of this here and i will be wrapping up the episode here but before i finish properly we're actually going to jump out of this and we're going to have a look at the mod list okay so back out here on the main menu having a look at our mods this is the full mod list that i am using so if at any point you want to pause i'm just going to be slowly rolling through everything here and you can see the load order that i am running as well that's all of them now there are a few down the bottom that i'm not currently using yes so these two are incompatible they were recommended as part of the original mod pack but um yeah they, they don't work with this mod pack that we have now with the current version so with that i am going to be wrapping up for today's episode i hope you all enjoyed we had quite the hectic time well for now if you did enjoy today's episode please consider leaving a comment or a like to let me know if you enjoyed the show i have been rykon you have all been awesome and until next time stay tuned